Hello everyone, my name is Amir Abbas and I will be sharing with you views, reviews and all the news about cricket around the world. Today we will talk about PSL 2020 uh, season 5. So PSL 2020 is going to start uh, soon. Uh, matches will be played from 20th of February until 22nd of March. The biggest news is that all the matches will be played in Pakistan only. What a great news for Pakistan cricket fans. Uh, it's been a long time since we have watched quality cricket at our home grounds. Wait is over. PSL is coming to Pakistan. Matches will be played in Lahore, Karachi, Rawalpindi and Multan. Um, there would be a total of six teams. Um, Quetta Gladiator, defending champion of last year, uh, winner of last year, defending champion of PSL. Uh, PSL. Peshawar Zalmi, Islamabad United, Karachi Kings, Lahore Kalandar and Multan Sultan. So teams have been finalized, squads have been announced. Uh, so we'll go through each uh, team and we see how uh, teams look like, what are their composition, where they're standing, how they perform during the tournament. So let's start the review. I uh, will start with Quetta Gladiator. Quetta Gladiator as you said. Uh, Defending champion, last year they have won uh, PSL two times runner-ups, 2016 and 2017. In the drafts, they have retained their captain, Sarfaz Ahmed, uh, and also they have retained their core uh, batting lineup. Out of their four top scoring batsmen from last year, they have retained Ahmed Shahzad, Umar Akmal and Shane Watson. Shane Watson was the leading run scorer uh, for Quetta Gladiator uh, in last season. The only player that they have released this year is really Rosso. He was the other uh, batsman who was a leading run scorer uh, uh, along with Omar Akmal, Ahmed Shahzad and Shane Watson. And uh, they have also released Sohail Tanvir, quite surprising. Sohail Tanvir was a leading wicket taker for Quetta Gladiators last year. Uh, he had taken 15 uh, wickets and he has been released. Let's see how the bowling lineup performs uh, for Quetta Gladiator. Biggest pick for a PSL, 2020 for Quetta Gladiator, Jason Roy, he was the first pick for Quetta Gladiator, explosive uh, opener from England, very good pick for Quetta Gladiator, he would be a valuable asset for Quetta Gladiator and they have strengthened their uh, batting lineup further uh, with this pick. Sir Vivian Richard are the mentor uh, for Quetta Gladiator and their presence has played big time in Quetta Gladiator's success over the period and once again. Sir Vivian Richard would be in mentor's role. Another interesting choice for Quetta Gladiator this year is their bowling coach. Guess who? Abdul Razak. Wow. Um, they have given this bowling coach role to Abdul Razak and along with that they have given a very young fast bowling attack to Abdul Razak to train make them a winning combination. If you look at the team in their batting lineup, they have got Jason Roy, Ahmed Shahzad, Asan Ali, Umar Akmal, and Khura Manzoor. Uh, it's another uh, interesting pick for Quetta Gladiator. Khura Manzoor has played from Karachi Kings in previous seasons. He was a regular member for Karachi Kings team, but have been released now. And Quetta Gladiator have picked him. Uh, let's see how he performs. And more interesting thing is where would he fit in the batting lineup? If we look at the batting lineup, we have got uh, Ahmed Shahzad, we have got uh, Shane Watson, now we have got Jason Roy. So top three positions are pretty much there. And then uh, when we come into the middle orders, we have got uh, Sir Faz himself. And Khura Manzur is primarily uh, an opener, so it would be interesting to see where he fits in the batting lineup. Uh, in the all rounder sections, Quetta Gladiator have got Mohammad Nawaz, one of their leading uh, wicket taker from previous season, uh, Shane Watson. They have also signed Ben Cutting from uh, Australia. He is another interesting, he is a very good all rounder, uh, very good uh, right arm, fast medium bowler, and he can play big shots. Another all-rounder, Kimo Paul, who would not be available for the whole season. In the wicketkeeper, they have got Sir Faz Ahmed, uh, Azam Khan will also be there as a reserve wicketkeeper. Bowling lineup, Sohail Khan, uh, who has previously played from uh, Karachi and Lahore, now he has joined Quetta Gladiator. Fawad Ahmed, another Australian, uh, Pakistani-born Australian bowler, uh, right arm leg break. Um, 
and then we have got Naseem Shah, Hasnan, Tamil Mill and Zahid Mahmood is another right arm leg break bowler. So if you look at the team, um, quite a batting heavy team, uh, they love to chase targets uh, in last season we have seen they have got a target most of the time they have won the game um, bowling lineup quite young uh, especially fast bowlers Asim Shah Asnan, both are under 19 only senior fast bowler is Suhail Khan pin area Zahid Mahmood his replacement for Kimo Paul so would be playing partly for the uh, part of the season uh, the only full time spinner is Fawad Ahmed I would not call him a top class uh, spinner so that's the area of worry for Quota Gladiator apart from Nawaz who is also part time spin I cannot see anyone else who would be taking the role or uh, whenever Quota Gladiator would be required more than one spinner uh, I don't see anyone in this squad who would be able to fulfill that role and as he said Bowling lineup, very young, uh, very fresh. Uh, that's a weak area for Quota Gladiator. But yes, whenever they would chase, they would be favored. They have very explosive top order, very strong middle order. And they would perform well whenever they would be chasing. Um, players to watch, Jason Roy, of course, uh, their first pick. Uh, excellent top order uh, batsman. Um, from bowling lineup, Hasnan and Naseem Shah, uh, both are young prospects for Pakistan. Recently, they have debuted uh, for Pakistan international team, and would be interesting to watch how they perform in PSL. Uh, prediction for this team: uh, they would definitely reach uh, to playoffs, uh, but considering the balance of the team, uh, will they be able to reach to the grand final? Time will tell. Next team to uh, review, uh, Peshawar Zalmi, um, very interesting team, fan favorite team. They were the champions of second season, uh, 2017. They were runner up in 2018 and 2019. So since last three years, they are playing grand final. They have retained their core uh, key players uh, for this season as well. Uh, that includes Darren Sami, Kamran Akmal, Kieran Pollard, Hassan Ali, uh, Wahab Riaz. Uh, so they are trying to uh, keep their senior players. Uh, they have released uh, Lendl Simmons, uh, West Indian batsman. Tamim Iqbal is not available due to his uh, national duties. Chris Gale has been released. Chris Gale was not performing uh, for last few seasons. So this time he hasn't been picked by any team uh, actually. Andrew Fletcher and Ian Morgan are also released from Peshawar Zalmi. Uh, new players to the team, very interesting picks, um, Liam Livingstone, English batsman, uh, Heather Ali, under 19 batsman who has recently played uh, under 19 cricket world cup as well, very good batsman, Shoaib Malik, um, experienced uh, campaigner, all rounder, he can serve batting, bowling, fielding, wherever you ask him to perform, he performs. Carlos Brathwaite, West Indian all-rounder uh, and very interesting pick Tom Benton from England. He is a very explosive batsman, uh, hard hitter batsman. He can play big shots and he has shown this uh, in recently concluded a big bash league in Australia. Uh, he would be interesting to watch. Uh, in bowling compartment, Rahat Ali, they have picked Rahat Ali. Uh, although Rahat Ali is considered as a uh, uh, test bowler but he has uh, proven himself in shorter formats as well he is a very economical and uh, very good bowler he would provide a very good support to uh, Wahab Riaz and Hassan Ali the senior bowlers so a bit more uh, experience uh, into the bowling uh, lineup Dwayne Pretorius uh, he might not be available for the full season Amir Ali from uh, under 19 uh, Team who has recently played the under 19 World Cup. He's a slow left arm orthodox bowler and very interesting. Muhammad Amir Khan from under 19 team as well. Uh, Muhammad Amir Khan is a right arm medium fast bowler and uh, he has performed really well in under 19 World Cup and 
uh, there are very high hopes uh, with this young fella as well. Uh, Mohammad Akram is the coach, uh, head coach for Peshawar Zalmi, uh, Hashim Amla, uh, betting mentor, and Saklan Mushtaq is a spin bowling consultant. So very good uh, team uh, all around, uh, very well balanced team, good mix of senior and young players, um, very good uh, top order. If you, if you look at the, all the players and the batting. Section we have got uh, Imam ul Haq, Liam Livingstone, Omar Amin, Heather Ali, Tom Benton, and Adil Amin in all rounders, Shoe Malik, Karen Pollard, uh, Liam Dawson, Darren Sami, Carlos Brathwaite, Muhammad Mohsin, and Lewis Gregory from England. Um, wicketkeeper batsman Kamran Akmal, who was also the leading run scorer for them as well. Uh, in the bowling section, senior bowlers Hassan Ali, Wahab Riaz, Rahad Ali. Uh, Dwayne Pretorius from uh, South Africa, Amir Ali and Muhammad Amir Khan from under 19. So it's a good mix all around um, and they have added up more strength to all of their departments with uh, uh, in, in this season as well. Uh, only weakness uh, might be spin bowling department. We don't see any specialist, specialist uh, spinner in the squad. Uh, Shoaib Malik would have to do a lot of spin bowling. Uh, Amir Ali, left arm spinner, so Mohammed Mohsen is another um, uh, right arm leg break bowler. So these are few names who would be having uh, the burden of all this um, uh, spin bowling but major focus uh, would be on the fast bowlers Hassan Ali, Wahab Riaz, Rahat Ali, Mohammed uh, Amir Khan, they would be uh, key uh, to Peshawar Zalmi. Uh, apart from this spin bowling, uh, I do not see any major weakness. They have covered all the bases, top order, middle order, hard hitting batsmen, fast bowlers, uh, very good team, very balanced team. Uh, players to watch uh, in this team during PSL 2020, Tom Benton, um, very good hard hitting batsman. Uh, if he would be able to adjust himself to pace and bounce of Pakistani wickets, he would be a treat to watch. Watch out for this guy, uh, Heather Ali, under 19 batsman, excellent. Uh, batsman, he has got all the shots in the book. He can play fast, he can uh, rotate the strike, and if he has to uh, hold up an end, he can do that as well. Uh, he is going to be a future star. Just watch out for this guy in the bowling section. Watch out for Muhammad Amir Khan, he is in good form uh, coming from under 19 World Cup, and hopefully, he would be performing good in this uh, tournament as well. Hassan Ali coming from his injury, he was out from uh, Pakistani cricket team due to uh, recent injuries. He has recovered uh, coming back uh, and he has to prove himself and to be a contender for uh, international team, uh, national team sorry, um, he has to perform well in this tournament. So this was the review of uh, these two teams, Quetta Gladiators and Peshawar Zalmi. We will be uh, reviewing other teams in tournament as well. Keep watching. See you soon. Thank you.